Hi, and welcome to this tutorial from the Instructional Technology Center. I'm Jeremy, your student technologist. Today we're going to be talking about how to access your CSU Pueblo student email from your iPhone. For this video, we're already logged into our student email. If you need to know how to access your student email, there is a video tutorial for that. From this screen, we're going to go to the top right and click Options. And then click See All Options. From here, you're going to see a link right here that says Settings for POP, IMAP, and SMTP Access. Click that, and you're going to see the settings that you need for your phone. Now I'm going to pull up a screen cap of the iPhone. From this screen, you're going to click Settings on your iPhone, and then you're going to scroll down and click Mail, Contacts, and Calendars. And under Accounts, you should see Add Account. Select that, and this screen opens up, and select Microsoft Exchange. From there, you're going to enter in your student email. This information can be accessed on pause through your e-account settings, your full student email at colostate-pueblo.edu, and your full password. And you can enter in a description. I chose CSU-Pueblo, and you're going to click Next. It's going to verify, and then it's going to ask you to enter in your server name, which is this right here. Then, under Username, you're going to enter in your full email address again, and then click Next. Once it's done verifying, you'll reach the Accounts Added screen. Make sure that the mail is turned on, but you can also turn on the contacts, calendars, and reminders. Any contacts, calendars, or reminders that you have on the Microsoft Exchange server will be imported into your phone. If you decide to import your contacts, it's going to ask you what would you like to do with your existing contacts in your iPhone. Make sure to select Keep on my iPhone, otherwise all the contacts that are currently in there will be deleted. It will remind you that if you keep your current contacts and you import your new ones, there may be some duplicates. Make sure to select Keep on my iPhone again, and you can merge those contacts later in the settings if you have any duplicates. Then, back to this screen, click on Mail and refresh your screen, and you should see all the email in your email inbox. Okay, that concludes this tutorial on how to access your CSU Pueblo student email from your iPhone. Be sure to check out our blog, and remember to follow us on Twitter at Double Dropdown.